Welcome to the channel. One goal. One goal for today. Has to be done, man. I'm getting tired of it. Let me show you. It's very dark in here. So I'm going to do it from outside. But this room. This room has to get organized. I'm taking this patio furniture. Getting it out of here. Taking it up to the loft. This I'll probably leave in here. That's just not really in the way for what I'm gonna do. We get all these tools picked up. Every tool I can find in the cabin, in the dog apartment, and get them all out and get them situated. And then I'm gonna unhook the washer and dryer and bring them out here. I'm even gonna pull this carpet up because it doesn't need to be down. Well, I may leave it for now. I don't know. Boy, that's gonna be hard to clean. <laughs> And then that corner, I have to repair that leak uh, when I had to pull that uh, metal back off. Uh, I got to tear it, clean that up and repair it again. That is the only leak I have in here. So get that done, get the tools organized, get the washer and dryer out here, get that room organized in there. And then I can, I can hopefully work in without any chaos and you know a lot of this stuff i'll just take up to the loft actually i could lay those out at the loft and sit in them they don't need to be down here right now i i should have left all this stuff in the boxes until i was really ready to bring it out but i didn't do that so i'm gonna get started here we go all right the two chairs are upstairs in the loft and the little love seat i put down here in the bar area Ain't nothing in here anyway but you're looking at that and you're going that'd be a nice little place to sit and read a book or put your shoes on and then I look at it and I go no you're out your minds you don't have a rooster and I might as well put it on there right now it's another bed for a rooster she's gonna see that and she'll be in here for the next month I know my dogs man I know my dogs. All right, I really didn't want to bring my mower out of this shed, but I got no choice. I'm just going to cover it real good with a tarp. Check on it periodically. Make sure that rats ain't chewing on the wires. But I got to fire up this generator. It has not been started in over a year since I cleaned the shed out last. You are not going in there. You are not going in there. So let me set y'all down and see if we can get this dude fired up. You hush. Let's put you up in here. Y'all like it in there? I don't, I don't know if you like it in there. Alright. Let's fire you up. You better get out of here. You ain't gonna like this. You ain't gonna like this thing. Right. It has not been starting alone. Hopefully the string doesn't break. I turn to annoy the neighbors. I'm gonna let that run a while. That gas needs to be run out of there. Uh, man, that's the first thing I bought when I moved to Arkansas. The very first thing. And so I gotta keep it, make sure it's gonna do its job when I need it. There have been occasions I've used it. Alright.
I'm working on it, but I need a place to put this saw. I'm gonna get this out of here as well. I want this whole room cleared out. Because I need to get the washer and dryer in here. I need my tools organized on a table or something. I can't work like this no more before anything else happens. Organization must occur. I'm gonna leave that run a couple hours probably. I don't know. That gas don't smell too good in there. So I'm gonna probably let it run a while and then pour it out. Yeah. Beautiful day, man. Here's all the tools I've dragged out of. This is just out of the uh, cream patio. Some I haven't been able to find. Got plumbing, electrical, and whatnot. All right, I gotta get busy, man. I got a lot to do. All right, I just wanted to show you guys the lawnmower battery's dead. Let me get this out of here. This is my jump box. I've had this a few years. You charge it up on, the, on an outlet, and it's good for 50 jumps. Cars, lawnmowers, whatever. You plug this in, I'll show you when I do it. It's noisy over there, though. where she's going to live for the winter I'm gonna cover her with that tarp I had probably 10 tarps they all went bad but that one will work and keep it out of the weather a little bit over here look here Lib. I'm telling you for the third time we're not running electricity to your kennel not this year electrical is just too high the wiring okay go back to killing your bugs she seen me bring in one of the lights and says, hey, I could use that in my digs. Or you could just let me move into here. You're going to get that dead wasp. It's already dead. So you're not, you're not impressing nobody with getting a dead wasp. It's going to get you. It's going to get you. You're silly. You getting that wasp all right enough of the silliness i got that table in here the two chairs stacked ever so nicely on top of that lawnmower i never use another thing actually i gave that to mama v but i don't think she'd have any use for that really anyway i don't like it and i ain't push mowing anymore and so now i just got a little bit of odds and ends and i'm moving the washer dryer and the freezer in there now that i have electrical that freezer can go out there for now because i want to empty out that old laundry room and then the next project is finishing the plumbing in the dog apartment and then moving the washer and dryer in there but i'm gonna probably end up leaving that freezer out in the patio well i don't know summertime that'll be working too hard out there so but for now it, until i get that room finished that's where it's gonna go all right let's get busy 
All right, got all the big stuff out now just to get this some of this trash picked up. Uh, bring that paint in the house. There's still paint in there. And then I'm going to take that blower and blow this carpet off. That should do a good enough job. Maybe get a broom to blow it all out the door somehow. And then I'm going to bring the washer and dryer. I think I'll set them right here. And then put the freezer right over here. And actually in the summer, I, it'll be fine. It might run a little more. But I mean, it wasn't too cool in that room either. Uh, I'll have the fan there. Well, I'm going to have a table there. All that furniture is coming back in. Just for now, I need working space. This room's an absolute disaster. This needs to come out of here. And I did a big load of laundry. So that's going to motivate me to hurry up and get this done. But I want all this stuff out of my way. So right after I plumb that in, because at the same time, I've got to disconnect some of this and reroute it. So I don't want stuff in my way. It's going to be moved anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we can... I think what I may try to do is just repair this sheetrock the best I can and you know it's already there paint it up here I'm not gonna put sheetrock up here I'm gonna get that foam board it has that insulation that was supposed to go uh, that fell okay that's supposed to go against the house I'm not getting up in there so I put that foam board in there and I'm gonna lay uh, I'm gonna lay tin in there like I did here in the kitchen just like this I think that'll look nice it wouldn't cost me a whole lot more that isn't gonna need a lot and uh, I mean there's a lot of work in this room I mean that hole where I had the tunnel for the dogs obviously that's got to be fixed I, I may even put tin on the bottom on the bottoms of this of these walls uh, that would probably look good too so that's the plan and the plan is to get all these wires out of the way so the ceiling can go up and get this plumbing all this disconnected get it run right into the other room and get these two moved in there uh, man these are old washer and dryer well this thing's probably i don't know 15 years old that one there is way older than that I'll tell you what it takes a little while it probably needs a new element i may do that while it's out but that's, that reminds me I've got to disconnect the electric there that has to happen anyway so anyway I'm gonna get this done I've got an appliance dolly so that shouldn't be nothing to move that set it right there but I want to get this all cleaned out real nice and this is the wall board man I really want to put it in that office though I don't know we're just gonna have to see but that's that's probably gonna be nice in that laundry room there's there's definitely plenty enough plenty to do it if you haven't seen this stuff uh jb conway gave me this yeah look at that looks pretty good i mean it's like paneling it's masonite is actually what it is but it has a nice you know it's it's uh it's got a nice look to it and that's easy to install better than sheetrock you stick it up and you ain't got to do anything else you don't have to tape you don't have to do any of that business all right and yeah you know, i made a mistake in the beginning just bringing everything in here and like it was already done it wasn't done or i shouldn't have brought anything in until all of this was done but i did it and so now i'm gonna get it done right i know that it's dark and everything i don't have any light in here there i'm light now hi how you doing hi my name's mike okay we got this room completely cleaned out man that blower did a great job on that carpet got all the dust and stuff out of it uh i don't really want to pull it out because then it gets wrinkled and it takes months for the wrinkles to come out you can see there's still some in there from when it was shipped all right i've got the appliance dolly ready we go in there clean off all the crap off the washer and dryer get them disconnected I'm going to bring out the freezer first. I'm going to place it right here. Nice convenient spot right there. And then, like I said, washer and dryer here. Uh, man, if I had to. Now, I ain't going to hook it up temporarily. We're going to get it installed in there. And uh, let me take you around and show you something. Though, what I'm, what's just been driving me nuts. 
I have got to cure this problem with this water. I've got the mower covered. These things, you don't even have to cover them. They'll stay out in the weather. But I've got to come up with a solution for this. And I, what I had thought is I'd put flashing on the wall and then take the concrete. And that would work. But no matter how you do it, you're still going to have a gap between the wall and the concrete. And it's going to seep down in there. So I don't know. I even thought of maybe having another little entrance come out here with the tin roof on it. That I may do. Man, it's just awful. You can see it's still wet where it flows down in there. And I might add, I did not pour this foundation, guys. This was here when I bought the house. Uh, they had a hot tub on it. It is a horrible job. It, it's like six-year-old kids did it. Hush, Waldo. And it's already getting wet in here because the water now is pouring off here. I may have to come up with some kind of guttering for this. But I may just put a little, you know, I don't know. But I, I've got to cure that before I, you know, before I can do anything else. Anybody else got any ideas, let me know. I've come up with a few, but that's probably what I'm going to end up going with. I certainly got the, the materials to do that. I just don't know how that'll look, but I don't guess I really care. It's a little mudroom for the puppy dogs, huh, Waldo? Didn't you request a mudroom? He doesn't know what it is. He don't wear boots. hissing <laughs> you don't hear hissing there ain't nothing pissing the way I see it oh it's gonna be a perfect fit perfect fit You ever watch Red Poppy Ranch whenever he builds something or he does something? He... Ah! Plug her in, man. Are you kidding me? That's all the cord? Oh, it's taped. Alright. What are you here for? want to do something. And this is kind of a dedicated circuit. Hey, don't come too far. All right, this isn't gonna be fun. Which way is the hole? I'm gonna have to do it left-handed, man. Blind and left-handed. That's never fun. Shut this door, see if that little green light's on. It is. You can see it right there, it's green. Alright. Two to go. Actually looks good in here. Cyclopatane. Whatever cyclopatane is. Wow. 
on now. Let's try that winger. Stink it. Why didn't you pick up the tools before you attempted to move this stuff? Nice. That's too easy. These appliance dollies, you don't use them a lot, but when you need them, they're worth their weight in gold. It just sits out, out there by the tree. It's where it lives. It lives out by the tree, works every time. Tell you what, <laughs> these drains, when you take them out, there's always water that's going to be sitting in here. That stunk when I poured it out. Alright, there's one. One to go. Alright guys, I gotta go unhook the electric. If if you don't see this video, that means something went wrong. Alright, this clip goes out to Big Al's homestead. He's gonna freak when he sees this. <laughs> this is how you don't want to run dryer vent with all that. <laughs> I guarantee you that's full of lint in there. It blows out air. Boy, that's a big old hole. It is nasty back there. But you can see it hasn't been functioning right. So that's probably my problem. Nasty. All right, I'm going to wheel this dude out. Electrical is unhooked. Here we go. This isn't very heavy like the washer. I don't I hear money in there. I went to dryer driving school, so it's not going to be that easy for all of you. And I might add, my last little laundry is just still in there. I'm not going to take that out and fold it. I'll leave it in there. I'm not going to get what I need. Look at all the room I got to sort. I'm telling you, man. People are just too... <sighs> get out of the way. People are just too finicky today. Ain't nothing wrong with leaving your laundry in the dryer. <sighs> Shimmy on over here. I'm just going to leave the appliance dolly hooked right on up to her. Alright, let's park you right there. Get on now. That's where you're going to live for the next few days. Alright, those are out of here. i got to show you guys something. Look down here in the corner. Does that not look like the classic house from Tom and Jerry? I bet you that's where that rat's coming in. Because Rooster sees them all the time. But I don't I didn't see any droppings, so I don't know, but I'm gonna phone that dude up for sure. But we got them all out. So now I can work freely in here. Uh, 
reroute the electrical into there. I don't think that's going to be long enough. Now I had that dryer hardwired, but I'm going to put a cord on it this time and do it a little more professional. I don't know if I'm going to have room to get another wire through there. I don't think so, but I can just drill a small hole through there and, and feed. I, I will probably put a junction box here for that and then run a new line into there. That'd be the best way to do that. All right. This is a mess, man. And the next couple days, this is what I'm going to be doing. It's so aggravating trying to do things when you don't know where your tools are or stuff's in your way. And I'm get, I, I've got to get organized the next couple of days. Then we're going to jump on that because i got enough laundry for the week. <laughs> but i got to get that going in the next, by next week. We got some rain, bad weather coming up the next, I guess next week. We'll see. I don't, I don't believe them until the days come. All right, guys, that's what I did for today. Hey, we got, I got the generator out, started it up, let it run for an hour. Uh, what else I do? Get, I got the mower out, covered up. Uh, washer and dryers now disconnected. They are out of the room. It'll be very simple getting those, those into there. I made double sure I had I got wide enough doors so I don't have to fight that stuff and those will go through no problem but man I am just terrified to buy new washer and dryer especially they still work this one takes a couple hours to dry but I'm gonna change the heating element and and run the vent better I think that was part of the problem but you just can't beat these old ones these new ones man if you ever watch like the scrapping pallet man or the, any of them scrapping channels they're always picking up those new ones. Never, you don't ever see the old ones. And that one's got to be, I know that, what is that? It's Kenmore. You know that's old. Because that's back when Sears was selling them. So that's got to be 25, 30 years old probably. And yeah, the washer's a little newer. And actually I had a different washer. I think I had the matching washer for that when I bought the place. When I, or when I bought these. Got them at the pawn shop they were used when I got them and that went out it went out because this room here used to be the old laundry room i tore it down and it was too cold in here and the washer froze up and it was funny because i hauled it out behind where libby's kennel is and it sat out there probably a good year for i hauled it i had some guys come get some scrap so we went to move that and load it up and I had a whole load of laundry in the washer. Stuff I was looking for, didn't know where it was. <sighs> All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Pretty boring. I'm gonna be doing this the next couple of days, getting things organized, but we got a good jump on it. Uh, I've got plenty of room now in the shed. Uh, moved all that stuff in there and got now I gotta get these tools brought back in here. So I'm gonna set up a table, I guess, in here and bring those in, because I'm gonna be using them. No sense in putting them away yet. All right, I thank you for watching. Happy trails.